In this video, I really just want to talk about you know, what is gangrene as well as how someone can prevent this horrible health condition. Now, Before I get started, there's a link below where I'm giving away a free video guide on supplements and alternative medicine. Now, one of the most important components of, of human health and our the human machine is blood flow, right? You know, blood delivers oxygen and nutrients to, to organs that need it and gets rid of all this waste. So what would happen if, say, an organ doesn't get the blood it needs? It dies, right? Simple as that. Well, this is like what gangrene. Gangrene is when sections of tissue doesn't get the, the blood it needs and therefore starts to die off. Now, there's really two types of gangrene. There's the wet version and then there's the dry version. The dry version is the most common one, and that's when blood flow to an area is impaired. It's like poor circulation. Now, because the condition usually develops gradually, you know, it could take days, weeks, if not longer, for someone to even notice they have it, you know, especially in the elderly and someone sick. Um, because another th reason is it usually takes place in the feet. And how often do we look at our feet, right? Now, the good news is that the tip, uh, infection typically does not take place with dry grain green. And the reason that's good is because in infections, when all those harmful germs start to, to grow and develop, and you don't want harmful germs doing that to you. Now, symptoms would be the areas that infected would be, of course, dry, cool. Skin could look uh, become more drier. And that's why it's called dry. It can also change color. It can turn like a brown, purplish blue, even black, and, and fall off. Now the good news is that infection typically does not take place with dry grain green. Now wet grain green is a lot more serious because there's almost always an infection, and the tissue can kind of get inflamed. Uh, blisters start to appear with with pus coming out. It looks like a wet look. That's why it's called wet. Now you might be wondering, well, how in the heck does someone even get this gangrene stuff? And how can we prevent it? Well, with dry gangrene, anything that really affects circulation could, can affect it. And a big contributor is a big element, that's, it's a big problem, and that is diabetes. It's a big problem around the world, okay? So that can definitely cause it. Uh, another one, of course, would be like frostbite, which I'm, I'm sure you've heard of. And Perhaps the best way to prevent this type of gangrene is to look at your feet more, right? You know, look for signs of cuts, infections, redness. If you have diabetes, you might want to control your, your blood sugar levels. Cut back on some of the sugary foods that taste so, so, so good, right? Now, another thing you could do is improve your blood flow. And sure, you could take prescription drugs to do that, um, but a better idea would probably be to exercise some more and you could possibly take some herbs like garlic and ginkgo bilobo, which both help. Now with wet gangrene, it's all really about preventing infections with a wound and using some type of a, you know, clean the wound with an antiseptic, it's sterile. Um, also, you could build up the immune system. And there's tons of ideas to do this, but a couple simple ones is, of course, get the rest you need, drink lots of fluids, and you can take a bunch of herbs, too. Herbs can definitely help you build up the immune system a lot. And I don't know if you ever do shopping for herbs. There's all these tons of choices, and there's supplements, there's tons, and it's really confusing. And to make things really easy for you, I did create this whole guide that can give you a ton of tips on shopping for supplements, herbs, and alternative medicine. Um, I really think it can benefit a ton of people and can be very helpful in more ways than you can imagine. So I highly encourage you to check out this free guide. You don't have anything to really lose. And you can check this guide out by clicking on the link below the video, okay? So you want to do that. Uh, thank you for your time. I, I hope this video might have been helpful. And if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button. And have a great, great, great rest of your day.